Hi there this is Gaurav from Neat Designs and today we are going to build this amazing theme switcher using only html and css so without any further ado let's begin so as you can see in my editor i have this markup.html file and i have created this basic markup so nothing fancy here linked my css file in it and in body we just have an input with the type of checkbox and id of switch and a label for that switch okay so that's all we need for the markup and let's see how it looks in the browser right now so as you can see we can only see this tiny little checkbox here so let's turn this into a beautiful theme switcher with our styles okay so i'm here in styles.css so now let's start to style our theme switcher so first of all let's create some variable in the root elements so let's type root and let's create some variables so the first will be light which will hold the light value for our theme so ft 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 which is white color but not pure white and similarly dark and for the dark variable we are going to set it to 1b 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 which is a black color but again not pure black okay and then i'm going to create a variable called circle size and i'm going it to set to 60 pixels which i'll explain later okay and then lastly a variable called transition in which i'm going to declare some transition values so all 600 ms and is in out as our timing function okay so now let's quickly target our body and let's remove the default margin first and let's display it as a flex so we can center our elements so let's display it as a flex let's change the flex direction to column so our elements will display like a block level elements and let's say align dash items to center and justify content to center as well okay and let's set the height to 100 vh okay so it will occupy the full width of the page so as you can see our checkbox is moved to the center of the page so in this example we are not using any javascript so we have to use the checkbox state to animate other elements okay so please keep in mind that we can only target input siblings selectors and their pseudo elements so here we cannot target the body to change its background because the body is the parent of the checkbox and not a sibling okay so now uh, to change the background of the theme what we need to do is we need to target the input and let's say type checkbox to be specific and then the before element and let's set the content to none position to absolute top zero left zero width to 100 vw while the height to 100 vh let's set the background to our variable of light so var keyword two dashes and then the variable name okay and as you may have noticed our checkbox is moved to the back so to bring to the front what we need to do is we need to use the z index and let's set it to the minus one so as you can see our checkbox now so now let's target our label four is equals to switch and let's set the width to 200 pixels height to 80 pixels background to variable dark and let's set the border radius to 80 pixels as well and let's change the cursor to pointer so it feels like a button so as you can see we have created a rounder rectangle shape here so now let's create that circle which is present in those switches so here for example we can see a an iOS switch and it has this round element which indicates the state of our theme okay so to create that what we are going to do is we are going to target the pseudo element of our label so let's say label for switch and after and first of all let's set the content to none position to absolute top 10 pixels because I want the top margin to 10 pixels left 
10 pixels as well and let's set the width using our variable called circle size circle dash size let's copy this and paste it two times and let's change the width to height and next width to border radius okay so it will be a perfect circle because we are using the same size for the width height and border radius okay so let's save that and let's give it a background of our light variable so let's say war light still can't see it because we have set the position of absolute on this element and let's set the position relative to the label so it will be relatively positioned to that label so now we are all set to create some animations based on the checkbox state so let's do that so at first let me add here and comment called animations and first of all what I am going to do is let's copy this selector and paste it here and let's say when the checkbox is checked target the B4 element and change the background of it to, to the dark variable okay so let's check that out even that's working or not okay it's working but we need to do one more thing here we need to add transition on the elements which are going to be animated so let's say var transition okay how easy was that guys that's the power of the css variables okay so now let's check that out but still our transitions aren't loading uh, because we have misspelled the transition spelling here so let's check now again so as you can see we got that cool little transition on our background change okay so let's copy this thing and paste it to the label as well as the pseudo element of that label okay which is a circle element so now let's target the label so let me copy this selector once again and paste it here and let me replace that before element with an adjacent selector and label okay so for label what we are going to do is first thing we are going to change the background from dark to light so let's do that first and then let's say transform rotate to 180 degrees okay which will be clockwise so let's check that out so as you can see the background of the label is changing and it's also rotating by 180 degrees so now let's also animate that circle element based on the checkbox state so let me copy this whole thing and paste it here and here let's add that pseudo element of after okay and let's change light to dark and let's rotate it by negative 180 degrees and let's check that out so our circle elements background is changing and it's also rotating but we cannot see that because currently the transform origin is set to center center which is the default values of transform origin so to show that what i can do is uh, let me disable this animation on the label and let's add a border top of one pixel solid red on that circle element so as you can see that circle is rotating but due to its transform origin is set to center center we are unable to see it okay so what we need to do is we need to set the transform origin as such so when it gets animated i want this circle to the other side of that label so right now this has a margin of left and top similarly i want that to the right okay so let's experiment with our transform origin property transform origin and for now let's set it to 60 pixels and 30 pixels so the 60 pixels means that it will get transformed from the very right edge of that circle element okay because we have set the width of 60 pixels 
and 30 pixels means 50 percent on the y-axis okay so let's save that and let's check that out so as you can see let me enable this comment here and now for now let's just disable that transform property on it so now we can clearly see that animation on that circle element okay but as i said i want to place that circle element exactly the same way to the right as it placed right now to to its left so here is the trickiest part about transform origin in the case of 180 degrees is that if we set the value of this to beyond 100 percent it is going to calculate that additional value which passes 100 percent so it's going to multiply that value by 2 okay so let me show this practically what i mean so here i have set the value to 70 pixels okay so that additional of 10 pixel to the 100 percent because our width of the circle is 60 pixels okay here we have set the circle size to 60 pixels and we have used the same variable here and so 60 pixels plus additional 10 pixels okay so let's save that and let's check that out and let's measure that so normally it should place at the 80 pixels because we have 10 pixels of margin and then the 70 pixels of transform origin but if you see here it placed to the 90 pixels okay so that's what i mean i hope i have explained it properly and if you still can't get it please let me know in the comment below i will make a separate video on that so now it's easy to calculate how many pixels we need on the transform origin so this label is 200 pixels wide let me open my calculator here so our label width is 200 pixels and we have margin of 10 pixels on each side so that's 20 pixel in total okay so 180 remaining minus we have 60 pixels of our circle size okay minus 60 pixels of the 100 percent transform origin okay so 60 pixel remaining so as i said in the case of 180 degrees rotation the transform origin will take that additional value after 100 percent and multiplies it by 2 so if we need 60 pixels we need to divide it by 2 so 60 plus 30 we need to add 90 pixels here okay so now if you see it is perfectly placing to the opposite end of the label okay that's what i needed and it has the same amount of margin on right and left okay fantastic that's what i exactly needed so now let's enable that transform on the label and let's see what we have got here so ooh, it's really weird isn't it so basically what's happening here is so now let's add a transition delay on the label so we can see exactly what's happening there so let's say transition delay of two seconds okay let me save that So as you can see our circle is animating properly but this circle is relatively positioned to that label it's again coming back to its original position okay so to solve this problem what we need to do is we need to animate this circle element independently and we can do that by creating an additional element so let me copy this whole thing and paste it here okay and now let's change the label to the before element okay and let's add the content to none and let's set the position to absolute 
टॉप जीरो लेफ्ट जीरो एंड नो नीड टू कर्सर पॉइंटर हियर लेट्स रिमूव द पोजिशन रिलेटिव अदरवाइज इट विल बी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट लेट्स रिमूव दैट ट्रांजिशन डिले ऑल्सो एंड फ्रॉम लेबल रिमूव दैट बैकग्राउंड लेट्स रिमूव दैट ट्रांजिशन एंड ऑल्सो ट्रांजिशन डिले ओके एंड हियर इन द एनिमेशन सेक्शन लेट्स चेंज द लेबल टू बी फोर एज वेल ओके नाउ लेट्स सेव दैट एंड लेट्स चेक दैट आउट लुक एट दैट it's gorgeous isn't it so now lastly one more thing uh, we can do is we can hide that input that checkbox so let's target that input type checkbox and let's set the margin left to this 2000 20000 to lakh pixels okay so it will be moved to negative 2 lakh pixels okay so we cannot see it basically and let's remove that border top can you see it it's beautiful so that's it friends we have learned how to create a dark and light theme switcher with pure css so i hope you have really enjoyed this video and learned something from it and if you really do please click on that like button also subscribe to my channel and please share this video with someone so it will really help my channel to grow and also help me to make more videos like this and also support my channel on patreon.com so the link in the description below please check that out so that's been it until my next video goodbye